One thing I've worked with during the years is how to improve onboarding of new clients and new colleagues. This right here is SuperDocu, a platform that allows you to onboard both clients and colleagues at a rapid speed filled with information. Let's check it out. So this is the SuperDocu platform. And the dashboard right now is not showing much. It is basically just showing contacts to handle, my profile and a help center. I know they're working on revamping the dashboard. But let's dive right into the first module, which is contacts. If I add a contact here fast, I'll just add myself. Then we have the first contact in play here. I can then add a workflow to this contact. So let's say it's an employee, then I can choose the workflow that I have made already for employee onboarding. And then I'm now inviting it. So now you can see I've added the workflow employee onboarding and for employee onboarding, we can see how far they are in this specific onboarding. So you can see they have not even filled out basic information, emergency or MISC. And they're also missing the legal documents and the checklist down here. So I'll show you just in a moment when we fill that out. But before that, let's go to the workflows. So within workflows, we have a list of all of our workflows. And right now there is the employee onboarding workflow. Let's go into settings so we can see how this has been set up. So in here we have all of our different workflow steps. And you can see that they vary from a screen, a form, documents, even a checklist down here. And we can add multiple steps here. And here is this where it is you choose the type so it can be a simple screen where we show some welcome text or it can be an end screen that tells something about what happens next. There is already an end screen, so I will not add anything at the moment. We can then edit the end screen here where you can see that the title on the screen is thank you. And here it is. Thank you for going through the onboarding process. We look forward to working with you. And as well, there is a start screen. There is also forms we can work with here. If I edit the form, then I can only edit the form name. But if I go into the module itself, then you can see I can work with the fields. And here we can add different types of input fields. You can see you have a long list here of different types of fields you can add. And then you basically just build out your form like this. I would really like this to be visual. So I was building a visual form and not in the same sense as this, where you can always press preview. And then you can see here how the form looks like. We can then test it out with name, email address and so forth and then send the info. I would just again really like this to be visual. But let's go back here because there are also the documents form here. So if I configure the module here of document, then you can see that there are some different documents they need to upload. So the first one here is that they need to sign and return the offer letter. In here, you can see that they need to download the offer letter, sign it, and then upload it again. So the offer letter here is not anywhere to be found. So that needs to be sent separately on a private email or something. But what you can also do is that you can make it expire. In here, for instance, this is an ID card. So here, the client or the colleague who is filling out, they need to fill out the expiry date. And this is because it's an ID card. And what would be really interesting in the future would be that whenever SuperDoc, you can see that the ID card is about to expire, then they will shoot out an email that the client or the colleague needs to update their ID card. So we always have it updated. Going down here, we have basically the same with the documents. This is just an IBAN for doing payments and so forth. So the platform itself is rather simple to work with. I just wish it was more visual. So you can see scrolling down here, we also have some general information. They can only fill it out once. What is the workflow's name? And then we have reminders. So here you can set up a reminder that in this case, it is saying we would like you to remind that they're still waiting for some information. And here we choose when they should receive it and how many times they should receive it. And here you can basically just enable and disable it. We can also preview this reminder by clicking on the preview here. And then here you can see a very simple reminder with my name, what the text is, and then they can access the dashboard to continue. We can also go to the portals here. And within the portal is basically where you collect everything. So right now I have a portal called employee onboarding. 
Here we can do a portal name, a welcome message, what workflow is associated to this portal, what is a screening question we can set, and then down here we have the URL. So let's copy the URL, we'll just set this one to be live, and now let's try and see how it looks from the front end perspective. So here you can see that when I start, I need to consent that my data is being processed by, in this case, myself, and then I will submit it so I can now get started. So here you can see the onboarding flow and the first is just a start screen that says welcome as you saw before in the back end. When I press next here then I can fill out some information. On the next step here is where we need to upload the legal documents. So here you can see that we need to sign and return the offer letter. So it says download the offer letter, sign it and upload it back here. So when I press import then I can upload the document. The same for the ID card, the profile picture, and so forth. Let's see if we can move on. We can move on without filling out those documents. And here we need to again fill out some information. One thing that's confusing me is that I can press send emergency info, but I can also press next. As a user of this, I'm a little bit in doubt what I need to do. But let me just go back to the documents for a second here, and then go back to the first screen. One thing here I would like SuperDocu to add is some conditions because I live in Denmark and within Denmark we don't have states that is mainly in the United States and similar countries. So in this case I would like this field state of residency to be hidden if I choose Denmark for instance. So I should be able to say if they choose this value in this field then hide or show this specific field. That would be a small change but it would really make a difference. But that is how the onboarding flow looks like for the client or the colleague who needs to go through it. We are now back in the back end and as I just showed you in the portal, now I want to show you some templates. Because when it is you need to build your different types of onboarding flows, often you will find yourself reusing the same type of content, whether it's a client, a colleague or a specific colleague in some niche or some branch over here. So you can see we have already now five different templates and if I go to the settings here then you can see the form which I just showed you before from the front end. And the form consists of a first name, last name, email address and so forth. So this is a way for you to be able to fast do onboarding flows and that is what this is all about. We want to be able to spend as little time as possible building this and to add up to that, then they have also made a library of different workflows. So when I set up my first employee onboarding, I basically just chose the workflow over here and then I started working from this. You can see there's also real estate seller documents. I can choose that and then I can start to build basically an onboarding flow for this specific case. This really helps saving a ton of time because you don't have to manually sit and build every single step. You can always add to this template or you can remove if there's something you don't need, but this just gives you a really good starting point. The last thing I just want to show you is in settings. Within settings we have user management so you can set different roles, but the most interesting thing is the API. Because they have both Zapier token, so you can integrate this with Zapier, and then they have webhooks, and I know that they're almost finished with their REST open API. So this is three different ways that you can connect to SuperDocu and basically automate your onboarding flow even further to share the information from SuperDocu to a third party system if you want to keep it in a different type of system that is maybe more secure or you just like to keep all the information of your colleagues or clients in that system. So I really like that and that is overall the SuperDocu platform. The pricing of SuperDocu is very simple. There are two plans and they differ on the amount of invites you get and if you want the Sapia integration you need to upgrade to the most expensive plan. And overall when we compare this pricing to the alternative it is a bit pricey. So let's see whether it's worth it in the future. For now you can do a 7 day free trial and for me when it comes to an onboarding product 7 days is just not enough because you need to have time to set up the environment, of course make sure that it is exactly how you want it to be, and then try and onboard a client or a colleague, and in seven days that is just not possible. 
Now the alternative to SuperDocu is File Invite. And File Invite is ahead of SuperDocu. They have more examples, they are broader in their target groups, and they just have more templates to work with. And then when it comes to integrations, they are also ahead. And File Invite is even cheaper than SuperDocu. So these two compare to each other. I am mostly towards File Invite at the moment, but SuperDocu has a really interesting roadmap. And if they can execute that within a short time period, then they will be a very interesting alternative in the near future. Now let's take a look into the future of SuperDocu. First off, then they are taking a look at the onboarding flow and then they are just completely redesigning it. And this is great news because for me, what I really want to see is a new design. I feel the overall UI and UX is really outdated. Furthermore, then they're working on a new dashboard which they will completely revamp with more information for us to always be able to see what status is our different clients and colleagues in. Last but not least, then they're working on more integrations to Pably, eSignature and much more so we can even more elaborate our onboarding flows to make it possible to sign the different documents and much more. This is really exciting, so let's see when and how they will implement this. After using SuperDocu for some time, I really like that I'm finally saving time on my onboarding for both clients and colleagues, and then the fact that we have API, webhooks, and a Sapia integration. The things I want them to improve is the outdated design, and then the customization of the onboarding flow design. We can't really move or change anything around in there. Overall, I'm satisfied with SuperDocu. The most important thing is that it's saving me time and the improvements mentioned will just make it even better. I want to give SuperDocu three and a half stars. It does what it needs to do, but I'm missing custom options to control the design in the onboarding flows. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.